Orchard Tupelo, Orchard Northside. Will Rambo here to tell you a little bit more about Scatter Sunday. Scatter Sunday is August 31st, where in lieu of our normal morning worships at 9 and 11 here in Tupelo and at 1030 at Northside, we're gonna gather for a few minutes at both campuses at 9 a.m., pray together and then go out and love our city well. Scatter all over our region to be an embodiment of Jesus Christ in our city that day. Now, a lot of you have messaged in and asked the question, do I have to be at one of the campuses at nine o'clock? Absolutely not. If you have something that's gonna keep you from being here, if you have a prior commitment, or if you have a project that needs to start earlier so you can be done, then we want you to go do the thing that God is calling you to do. Because for us, from the very beginning, that's been the emphasis. A lot of you have asked, what is it I should do that day? And we're gonna keep pressing it back on you to say, what is God asking you to do? We want you to listen for the way that God might prompt you. Somebody in your life, in your connection, in your network, that God would have you, by a simple or grand act, be the love of Christ to that person. Now, there are some other ways to be connected. Small group leaders were at a training this past Saturday where they heard from Eric George and John Tidwell our vision that small groups would find a project, work together, and then let us know what that project is, register that project on our website. Now, the reason we're gonna have you register is not because we're trying to track everybody per se, but because we don't want 40 groups to show up at Salvation Army to do the same thing. We wanna make sure that we are spread out in a lot of areas and loving our community well. Now, there's some other ways that you can be involved. Maybe you're thinking, well, I don't know, I'm not in a small group yet. I don't really know what my small group's gonna do. Well, on the website, the same spot where our small groups can register, there's a, a list of ideas where you can get some ideas of things that you or a group of others might be able to do to serve our city that day. There's also a drop down menu where we've identified several strategic neighborhoods and areas where you can sign up if you have a particular passion. Maybe you live in that area or you grew up in that area. We'd love for you to sign up to say, I'll serve in that area. And if so, one of our area coordinators will get in touch with you to tell you about the things that are gonna happen in that area where you can come alongside others loving and serving that area. Now there's some things we wanna do that day we wanna keep track of. And so uh, if you would use hashtag Scatter Sunday, whether you use Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, that's one of the ways that on August 31st, we're gonna capture all the things that God lets us be a part of. And it also gives you a chance to be connected because some of you have said, hey, I'm out of town Labor Day weekend. And our response has always been, we're not doing a one-time Sunday event. We wanna practice the way we think God's asking us to live all the time. So if you're gonna do your project next week or the next or the Saturday before that Sunday, just hashtag Scatter Sunday so we can keep track of what God is doing. So we can be uh, given a chance to look into the ways that God might use you and use our churches across our area. And a couple of other things we'd love for you to know about. Both at Tupelo and at Northside, we'll have childcare available for birth to four-year-olds to our pre-K students. Uh, but that childcare will only be available at both sites from nine to 12. So just as you plan your project, you wanna make sure you finish a project so you can get back in time to pick up your children. Also, on that day, we would encourage as, as many of us as possible to go out to eat. I mean, who doesn't wanna do that? But while you're out to eat, see it as a missional opportunity. As you get your food and you're about to say a prayer uh, over the meal, ask your server if you could pray for them. And if there's anything going on that you could pray for and about, don't make, don't pushy, don't make it uncomfortable. It's just a chance to show that you're concerned about what's happening in them and not just what you're receiving from them. And one other thing we would add, if you're able that day, tip incredibly generously. Unfortunately, those who work in the food industry would tell you that the day that most servers don't wanna work is on Sundays because Christians don't have a great reputation for tipping very well. But what we know is that our Savior has been incredibly generous with us. And if one simple way we can show that generosity is by being generous to someone else uh, on that Sunday at lunch, let's do that. Let's change the way that people have an opinion about the way the church uh, interacts with our community. That's it, friends. We'll continue to bring you updates as we get closer to Scatter Sunday. Don't forget to call us or message us, to email us if you have questions and ways that we can prepare you to love and serve our city well, August 31st.